always, welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. I am, and don't you forget, I am the mighty, 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 and you're starting up seven, your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. There are many videos on YouTube posted by men who have a hatred and very much against what is known as feminism. And you have a right to do so. So these males in their videos you see them all the time and the woman this and the woman done, done that and the women's the women is unfair they get special treatment <laughs> you know when I look at this women's thing, when it comes to black people struggling in this country, you hear the same thing. That black people, they get special treatment. They get special programs. They get treated special. Blah, blah, blah. The same thing. So, during this period of time, where one power is beginning to fall and one power is rising up, this battle can only increase because those who are on the top, which so happen to be male, they don't want to see the end of their influence and domination by the rise of the female. Those who are at the top. Who are not only male. But just so happen to be. Caucasian persons. Don't want to hear. And. Have a fear and are upset. Because. Those of whom they have oppressed and exploited. These dark people are simmering and like steam are beginning to rise right along with the female because they are both oppressed persons. And since those who are in power have proven themselves unworthy, they are incompetent, corrupt, greedy and selfish and murderers. Rapists, thieves, and liars. Then they don't wish the dark people, the black folks, or the women, they don't want to see this rise. So they are going to use, by any means necessary, all the resources at their disposal to try to attempt to keep the women in the position of the pregnant housewife and the and keep the black people in the condition of a slave. That time is over. So for those males who have a problem with women rising and coming into power, then you are going to be greatly disappointed because there's nothing that you can do. That's going to stop the rise of the female. However. You want to act ugly. With the female. And you should. Considering. Her state of mind at this time. You should be angry. Because. Even though she's rising. She's not rising. With the correct mentality. And if you want, and since you cannot stop her rise, then you should help. 
You should help change that mentality in her head to that which is proper. But you attack the victim and not the one who caused her to be in the position that she's in and that is the male. In this country, the racist Caucasian male. Because second to dark people, the white racist male oppressed his women. That's why she had to fight like hell to gain something in this society. If you have a problem with the woman, then you need to you need to fight against that which made her what she is. And that is the male in power. These women don't have no power at all. Whatever they have, they got it from the male. And see, the women are like black folks as a whole because this male, see he's slick. He pacifies you. He allows a certain number of you to gain certain strength, get certain privileges, to make you believe you are actually going up the ladder. See, black folks, dark Europeans, they believe they are moving on up, they're moving on up to the east side, to the east side. They finally got a piece of the pie. Oh, yeah. But who still controls the pie? That's what you need to be thinking about. Who still control the pot? So you have women rising, doing their thing. Feminism has been embraced. But who still control things? You are rising, but the man who put you in the condition that you're in, he's the one that's controlling your rise. <laughs> Feminist, listen to what I'm saying to you. Because I know a lot of y'all happy. Because you think that you got it going on. You haven't, you haven't cracked the, the, the glass ceiling, but you think you're on your way to something. You're not on your way to nothing. When somebody else controls your freedom, when somebody else is controlling your rise, you're not going nowhere. You will stop. When they decide that it's time for you to stop. Black people in this country, you're not going to rise. Your progress that you brag about, things is better. Who control your better? Those who oppress you control your better. Because they gave you everything that you got. Every little freedom. Your freedom of speech. Your freedom to do this. Your freedom to do that. All of it is controlled by the person who oppressed you, who put you in the condition that you was in to begin with. So how are you better, feminist lady? How are you better, Negro, dark European in America? How is your life really better? And then you pass because you think you got something. See, these people are real slick. They give you a little, oh, gosh, 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 they give you a little, since you ain't never had nothing, you think you got a lot. So, these women, they have a little corporate job, they are CEO, they can go to strip clubs and watch men get undressed for them instead of vice versa. Black folks, they got a Cadillac, a Mercedes. They got a show, the Tyler Perry show. They think they got it going on. But when you really put what white, what women have achieved or so-called success next to the white male, if you take what black folks have done, male or female, we as a people, if you take what little progress, success we're supposed to have gotten, if you put that next to the white male, you don't have nothing. 
You don't make no laws. You don't control no government. You don't control no education. You don't control the media. They gave you a little. So you don't ask for a lot. They cook it in the kitchen. And instead of giving you a plate, they said, why don't you taste, why don't you taste this? See, here, there you go. Here, here's a taste. But see, you don't know. You don't have to taste a damn thing. You can cook your own damn food, get your own plate, make your own meal. I want to say this to feminists and the women on the rise. You are going to rise. Your time has come. But see, the problem in your feminism and your way of thinking is not is that you're no longer thinking the way a woman should think. I'm going to say it again. You're not thinking the way a woman should think. In fact, you're thinking like those who oppress you. You're thinking like the stupid, arrogant, greedy, violent male. That's how you think. You think just like he do. So, he don't mind you like that. And some of y'all, oh, oh, this is so, whoo, some of y'all, since the creation of what you call feminism, and feminism is nothing but, it's nothing but Women trying to be male because along the way you lost your womanhood, you lost your femininity, you lost your femaleness, and so your idea of success, your idea of progress is based on the one who kept you down in the dirt. You cannot rise like that. Because if you're going to be thinking like a man, then you might as well stay where the hell you are. Just because your idea of success is to put yourself in the position where the male was, and now he become the stripper. He's the prostitute. He become, he's the house husband. You want him to be what you once was. And that's not the reason why the creation wants you to rise. That which brought you into existence, that gave you your womb, wants you to bring the justice and the equality and the fairness and the love and the compassion that a mother brings to its life. These males are destroyers of life. Do you understand where I'm coming from? So you are a natural. You need to learn how to return and understand your connection to the creation and, and what your womb is really about. A woman is a mother. She is the giver of life. She is not a child molester. She brings into being the child. It is men who are the pedophiles. It's the men who are the ones who molest the children. They are the creators of that behavior because they have no connection to the womb. They have also, because of jealousy, they have denied you, the woman, your proper protection. Because these males want to be you. They don't, they are jealous and don't want to and don't understand their role in creation. Your feminism only makes you a dark version, not a dark, I mean a female version of this stupid, arrogant male. Hold on. Got a part two. Bring this to conclusion. So we're going to bring this little discussion to its conclusion. You don't want to rise. It's your time, female. 
regardless to your race. It is your time to rise out of your oppression. But what will hinder your rise to the top is your grasping the mentality of those who put you in this bad condition that you don't want. Feminism and this false equality that women have gained in America has caused you, woman, to think like men, to think like men to the point where you begin to fall in love with yourself, with womanhood. Some of y'all even begin to look like men. I'm not trying to be be funny or anything. Some of y'all women, y'all look hard. Your voices have got more bass in it. You're hard. You're not soft and feminine anymore. And you have turned on yourself. So since the since the introduction of so-called feminism. This thing called lesbianism has increased. It's all over because you've fallen in love. You become a man in the mind. And it's natural for men to be attracted to women. So since you become a man in the mind, you are also attracted to women. And then in your lesbian relationships, one takes the role of the man and one takes the role of the woman. What sense do that make? If you're going to mess with somebody who, who is actually a female but, but is behaving like a male, why not get the, get the male to begin with? Because your mentality, because you grow to hate the man. You hate the man because of the mistreatment and the evil he has done to you. So you will him out of the picture. You will prefer, because now I'm moving on up to the east. You moving up. I'm going to find me a woman. I'm a successful woman. So let me find me another woman to put on my arms like a, like a trophy, like men do. Let me go get my trophy wife. So for those males out there who are so angry at women, in order to deal with any disease, you can't deal with the symptom. What you see from women are the symptoms. You must deal with the cause. And the cause is the slick behavior and activity of the men in power. And these women are satisfied because they have been given a little. And but so they will not ask for a lot. So you have a certain percentage of women, they CEOs, they are doing this and they are doing that. But when it's all said and done, the women are still the prostitutes, the women are still in the street. The ones who slide up and down the pole in the strip clubs, the, the, they are still the ones who are expected to stay at home and take care of the children. They are still in the same condition they always been. But because a few are allowed to have a little success, then y'all ladies have moved on up. <laughs> It's the same thing in the black community. You have many black folks. We have beautiful cars, live in nice neighborhoods. We got education. But when it's all said and done, our people as a whole are still living in a slave-like condition. We don't act, we don't behave like free people. And out of that anger, we turn on ourselves. 
because of self-hatred. I don't like me. I don't like what has happened to me. So it's easy for a black man to take a gun and blow another black man's brains out. It's easy. Since I have no respect for my black woman, it's easy for me to catch her and rape my sister because she don't mean a damn thing to me. We are still in an animal state of condition. In fact, when it comes to those who are descendants of slaves in America, in fact, we are worse than slaves. Because you didn't see slaves killing one another like we do. Calling our women hoes and bitches. Run around drunk out of our minds the way we do. Dope fiends and prostitutes. You didn't see all that coming up out of slaves. But once we got set so-called free, that's when the problems really started because they gave us a little and we think we got a lot. So the same situation that's holding women, the female back, is holding black folks those who are descendants of slaves. That's what's holding us back as a people. Because we've been given the illusion that we have moved on up to the east side. Woo! We finally got a piece of the pie. And then, <laughs> the little piece of pie that y'all want to claim that you got, how long did it take for you to get it? You want to brag about a black president. How long did it take for you to get that black president? Your piece of the pie. How long did it take? How long you been here, so-called Negro of America? How long you been here having babies for white males, white women, fighting for your rights? What, you, what do you really have? What have you really achieved? Oh, because now you can go to the strip club and put a dollar bill in some man's drawers. You think that you have made it. You have been given a taste. And you think you got a lot. But see, you will not get a lot. And that which brought you into existence will not give black people or women in general a lot because you have the wrong mentality. You don't want to be a man. You want to be a woman. I am so happy to, and proud that so many women, black women, white women, Chinese women, women of all races, you are trying to learn and return back to your womanhood, your goddess state. I am so happy that there are so many black people who are trying to break the slave mentality and get free. Freedom begins in the mind. See, you are physically, you are free physically, but what's holding you back from your potential, what's holding you back from your real potential, females and black folks, is that you carry the mind of those who put you in your bad condition to begin with. Because you think that that is what success is is about. And it is not. You are different from them. They are evil and wicked and have been proven unworthy of being on the top. So they are dropping. You don't want to have that same mentality because once you rise, you want to keep rising. You don't want to drop. You want to stay afloat. And and in religion, where is heaven? <laughs> where is heaven? Heaven is afloat. It is above the land. It is in the stars. That's what heaven is. Heaven is here on earth. When you think properly, when your actions are appropriate, when 
you don't see yourself as better and greater. You are in harmony with that which brought you into existence. Meaning you will bring justice. You will bring equality. You will bring the real peace. Not only to humanity, but you will bring peace to this planet and to all animal life. And eventually you will you will form from out of your womb. Bring into existence the humanity that will go way out there in the stars. So you can explore the heaven instead of being made to be on this plane which suggests to us death. And the only and what do you do with the dead? You bury a hole and you cover it up with dirt and it decomposes. That's what has happened to the female. That's what has happened to black people in this country. You have been made dead and these who are on top put you in a hole and covered you up. But now, with the coming of Christ, if you understand, he lays his hand on that dirt and with the word says, rise. And now, you hear that word in your death. And like Lazarus, you are not coming up out of the grave. You're coming up out of the grave female. You are coming up out of the grave. Black people of America and around the earth. Not to become like these, but to become what we know of as righteous. To bring back the balance and the harmony that this planet once had. Because you, because since the woman is a mother, you care for life. And a mother would care for life. A real mother cares for life. Regardless if the life is red or black. Yellow or brown. Mama don't care what color the child is. Mother has compassion. Mother is a giver of life. And that's what the earth needs. The earth needs a mindset from humanity of whom is the most intelligent being on this planet at this time that we know of. I'm not going to talk about no aliens. The creation needs the human being to get back into balance. Because having gold and silver and fancy cars, that's not what it's all about. It's about harmony. It's about harmony and bringing this earth back into balance so everybody can enjoy the existence that it has it has earned by coming into this life and for the time that we're here everyone should be as peaceful as what peace can bring to us so think about what I said female think about what I said black people and for you males who still want to bash women, you go ahead. Because y'all too cowardly to deal with the men who are at the root and the cause of it. With your coward ass. Deal with the root. Not the symptom. Deal with the cause. The women are on their way up. Are you going to ride? Or are you going to stay with them? Complain. <laughs> Thank you for listening to your brother Tony Kim Ross. Let's talk about it. Jot down your comments. Let us think for ourselves, people. This was and it is. I am Angel Snub Number Seven. This is the Realities Temple on Earth. And catch you on Stick AM pretty soon. Peace. In the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always. Welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. I am the host of this internet ministry, 
known as the mighty, mighty, mighty. Angel snub number seven, your brother and hopefully your friend, Tali even Ruff. This little talk might take two videos, so please bear with me. And uh, I thank you so much for traveling with me on this short journey. The topic of this video, of course, is the, or an episode that I uh, witnessed or viewed from the reality series called The Housewives of Atlanta. But before I give my two cents in on this particular episode, which was a recent uh, happening on Bravo, I think that it's the, the cable, the cable network is Bravo, I believe. I would like to speak very quickly to the black man. Now, there are black males who have gotten very angry with me because of my pro-black woman position. And some may want to know, why, Brother Talib, are you so hard on black men? Don't you see these women do this and these women do that? You should stand with other males. When they become a man, when they become a male, then I will stand with you. The reason why I speak the way I speak in reference to so-called black men, when I see one, I will address one. Well, this is what they say. Brother Talik talks like that because he was raised by women, surrounded by women. He never had a man in his life. I had a man in my life, a good man in my life. One was physical. He was taken away from me early in my life. Wonderful, strong black man. He was not my physical or biological father but he treated me like his son and I will always remember that man to the day I leave this planet then my other father that I never met I found on a piece of paper ink and wood pulp the honorable Elijah Muhammad who raised strong black men that changed the dynamic of black life in America even to this day. Because I stand because of my father, Elijah Muhammad, whether you like it or not, whether I like it or not, his influence, he became a father that was missing in my home. The picture behind me, Brother Malcolm, was a man in my life. The picture right on the side of Malcolm Brother Marcus Garvey, another man in my life. There were a lot of men that came into my life. This is what I was looking for. And so although they were not in my house, they became part of my mind. And they were the examples to me of what a man should be. And you who come to me crying about the black women do this and the black women do that. You are nothing like Malcolm X. You're nothing like Elijah. You're nothing like Marcus or any of these men in my life. Or the man called Lionel Chavis who grew me and was my physical father when I was a child. You're nothing like none of them. You are weak to me. I am a lover of strong black men. But I don't like weak men. And that's your problem. That's why the women talk about you like a dog. Because you are weak men. If you was anything like Elijah or Malcolm 
or Marcus or Martin or any of our strong black men that have stood up against the oppressor, if you was anything close, they wouldn't be talking about you. These men took care of their women. They took care of their children. They took care of their family. They handled their business in the community and they faced the oppressor day in and day out. If you was anything close, then they will respect you. But you won't respect and honor just because you have a penis. And that's not how it works. You won't respect, and that goes from anybody. Then you gotta earn it. If you're a woman and you act like a little whore or you're a little prostitute or you're a little stripper thing, you have no respect for yourself. Don't expect nobody to give you honor. You're not a goddess. You're not a queen. You are what they call the slut. You're the trash. You cannot expect to be to get honor and glory and don't earn it. That, comes, that goes for anybody. It goes for me, you, anybody. We want glory and honor and respect just because we believe that's what we are, but you have not earned anything. So as black men, I expect a lot from us. And when I hear black men groveling to me, oh, the black women this and the feminists that and the blah, 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 it sickens me to my stomach. You make me want to throw up. These men behind me and the men that I know of that was an example for manhood in my life didn't sit around and complain, talk about the women this and the women that. You're supposed to be strong and you show weakness. And a woman, the female, is wired to be attracted to strength. That's why she is attracted to those brothers y'all call thugs. Because a thug may not be all that, but a thug will take out a pistol and handle his business. I bet you're not going to mess with him and his woman. But y'all don't have no heart. You don't have that fire in you. She don't see it. But you want to be respected like that. That's all you got to do. Is stand up and be a man. Not talk like a man. And act like one. Be one. And if you're not challenging this oppressor. And if you're beating on the woman verbally, you don't have to beat on her physically. You're not a man because men don't beat women regardless whether it be physical or mental. You don't do her like that. And you wonder why she don't like you, don't have no respect for you. Men know they can't do it by themselves. You have to go into the gutter and uplift other men. You want to do it by yourself. Because see. I have a degree. I make some money. And I do this. I'm a good man. What's, so, what's good about you? Oh because you got a job? Because you drive a fancy car? Well clearly. It seems as though the women don't still don't want your ass. Because they would rather go to the brother that don't have a damn thing. Yeah, he's a nothing, but he got something that you lack that you should have. Because you think that you're good, but you weak. While the so-called thug brother got his swag on, and he's strong. Got personality, and you're a nerd. But you think somebody's supposed to just like you just simply because you got a job. I'm good. What make, what make you good? You're not challenging the thug because you should be going out in the street taking the benefits, the positive things of you and going out in the street and help that brother be more than a thug. To better him. Uplift your brother. And when you uplift other men, they, that in turn, will inspire and uplift the women. The women will produce you better children. That's the avalanche effect. But y'all so silly and stupid. You'll rather fall victim to the old Willie Lynch
switcheroony, divide and conquer, because you're so weak. Oh, the women, they on Oprah. Oh, the women, they on Maury Povich. They talk about us. They who gives a damn? You don't allow the enemy to use divide and conquer tactics. You should be smart. When they talk about you, you just smile. And if it's true, then you just be better. Try to improve yourself. You don't get into a sparring match in public with the black woman or black children or anybody and show that you have malice and hatred towards your own. Thus, you don't benefit black people. You benefit trying to save your own ego because you're pitiful and you help the oppressor, then you will turn around and talk about, well, the white man, you helping the damn white man when you attack black women in the public. Shut your damn pitiful and pathetic mouth. I know you don't like what I'm saying because you, y'all pitiful, pitiful men. And me, I'm not attracted to weak, unintelligent men because if you're smart, you know that, you know that your woman and we are a destroyed people. So of, so of course, the Caucasian racist people are going to take advantage of the black woman who does not have a protector because you have failed to do your job as a protector, defender, nurturer of your women and children. Not her fault. Your fault. Our fault as men. And women have responsibility too. But you can't say just them. It's us. We are destroyed people. When we allow, at one time, Willie Lynch divide and conquer the men versus the women, the women versus the men, the young versus the old, that old Willie Lynch tactic, the light skin versus the dark skin, y'all still in 2010 falling for the same nonsense. The revolutionary versus the Uncle Tom. We all still falling for the same crap. We should recognize divide and conquer tactics and now play this sick game because it's a game that we always have been losing for 400 years, but we should be able to turn the game around, flip the script and turn the game and make it our game. Well, they begin to follow our rules, but we're so stupid. And we think that we are intelligent, but clearly we're not because we still fall for the same old okie doke. Oh, well, there you go, because it doesn't make no difference. As soon as I shut up, there goes some black man, and the woman do this, and there goes some black woman. Oh, y'all do go, y'all do, 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 Two fools. And guess what? Two fools deserve to be slaves. And that's what y'all are. Dark European Negro slaves. Because real black people have learned our lesson from the past. And we ain't going for the old okie doke. We have become so dumb. We believe our own stereotypes. I hear these men and these women do this and she's a thug yet and she act like this and she run her mouth and she do this and that then they go to women y'all do the same thing all these men they don't take care of their babies they the men's do this and the men's do that so you have the men have their stereotype of women that they believe you have to say you believe because the reality is that's not us that's not our women as we as a people, they talk about the men do this and the men do that. The women, they complain. But that's not the black man. That's certain black men. It's certain black women. Go into the next video. Hold on, y'all. Got good to me. So, we believe our own stereotypes. I don't have to describe and give a, you know, give a description of these stereotypes negative negative stereotypes we know what they are we believe 
the stereotype more than those who promote it. Because the way you talk about black women, that's not our sisters as a whole in this nation. The way these sisters go on television, Maury or Oprah, whatever, that's not the brothers. This is imagery, negative imagery that is true to, a, to, to describe a certain percentage of us. But then it's put on TV, y'all bring it to YouTube like it's all of us. I tell you right now, if I thought that these negative these negative stereotypes was us for real as a whole people, I'll take down all my channels and go hide under a rock. It's simple as that. Because if we are that stupid, that ignorant, that lost, I'm done. Hey, I admit, black unity is hopeless. It's impossible. I would just admit and just say the hell with it. But since I know that the black men that that the these women talk about, that's not us, that's not us as a people. I know that the black women that these men talk about, that's not us as a people. Then I know that we got a chance at rising above all that negative garbage and making ourselves better to the point where we squash all those negative stereotypes where they don't exist, they are not real, they will become fiction. Instead of divide and conquer, the black man hating the black woman and the black woman hating the black man, we should be trying to help one another. And when a man helps his woman and when the woman helps the man, it will straighten up the children, cause and effect.